friends welcome back to part five of sense a cyberpunk ghost story now if you remember from last time we were just running around i think trying to figure out how to progress now um and it seems like today we're going to be running around pressing e on stuff until we make progress Okay, so where are we? This is the doctor's room, right? Yes, I don't think there's anything we can... Yeah, we'll just go press it on everything. Doubly check in, make sure I'm not muted. Yep. Sure, enter the bedroom. Nothing in there. These are the books. I can't help but feel that these numbers, they, they definitely coincide. Coincide? Correlate. Whatever the word is. To the numbers on the x-ray. Yeah. Yeah, they do. And that's the funny block with the kanji on it. Looks like we need some kind of... Oh, what do you call them? A seal, a bit like wax seals, is what I'm thinking. And we'll just double check in the bathroom. Oh, that noise gets me every time. But he never moves back. He only stays there. Uh, if we carry on, we just get killed by hair again. Let's just head backwards and see if there's anything new. Oh yeah, we got a sword last time. It's a bit clunky to use. I'm not sure how useful it's going to be. Elevator's stuck on the third floor still. This is pretty much empty, right? Yes. Uh, uh, okay. This feels ominous. I don't really know why, but I feel compelled to take a photo. See, I pressed E on that, but there was no prompt to do so. Have... Uh, has this been stalling for me for ages? So just pressing, just press E, E E E E E. Hmm. Uh, we didn't need. Oh, let's have a look at the map. Let's make use of it for once. So on the third floor. Oh really? Oh yeah, that's the red room. And that was the room with the pig's head in it. And that's the room with the crows in it. I think maybe the other way around. No, it isn't. Um, right. Hmm. Let me just E on random things in the hallway. E. Whoops. Should have known. E. I'm now paranoid that I'm missing something by not Eing on it. Whatever stuff is, it's making it difficult to stand the hall. Now that I know there are traps around, I need to be careful. I should take a picture to check for more. See, I, she's never come up with that dialogue before, but when I'm running around mashing E, she's like, oh yeah, maybe we should take some photos. It's still too dark for me to see any traps. Well, we've been through past here a few times now. The E, the E, is that a trip wire? There's an odd arrangement of hair behind it. I should find something to trigger this trap from a distance with. Oh, don't run into it. E. Whoop. 
Yeah, there, there's no prompt. Uh, use ball. Let's try this. Hopefully I don't miss. Great. Progress. That's what we wanted, right? The door is actually moving and I can feel airflow from inside, but the hair covering it is too thick. Maybe I can cut the hair with something? The elevator call button isn't working on the floor either. On this floor either. Let's try this key. Okay. The door isn't locked, but I can't push it open. It may be blocked by something on the inside. Like a dead body. Probably. Japanese? Japanese? Japanese. Mariko? She must have set the traps. A pile of mail. Most of them are nasty hate mail calling Mariko a liar. Or worse. She must have been a local gossip. This last one though. You fucking leech. Father Yip investigating in a use and toss aside investing. <laughs> Father Yip investing in a use and toss aside whore like you is a joke. It'll come back to bite him sooner or later. The last note I can see is from Sally. Hey babe, my client loved my hair last weekend. Can't wait to see what you do tomorrow. By the way, convince Slamp Post to come to movie night this week. He's always too shy to talk to me, but he'll listen to you. Okay. There's a strange there's a strange and thick strand of hair that's blocking off the kitchen. Maybe I can find something to cut it from a distance. I don't want to risk triggering another trap. Do I have to I need something yeah. I just do I have to mash E to not get eaten by something? There's an offering cup and an op and an open envelope with a letter out on the table. Mariko, I'm more than happy to invest in your business. You have done well for yourself, even though such difficulty even through such difficulty after the last two years. I've always seen great potential in you to be a leader in our district. I'm very proud of you. I hope you enjoy this gift. It belonged to my mother. If there's anything else I can do for you, please come see me. Yip Wai Hong. The desk's covered in business documents and tax forms. There's also several files from a Takamini Law Associates. Takamini. They all reference divorce, but the only name I can see is Mariko Okuda. Nothing else is particularly interesting, but the filing cabinet has one drawer exposed. It didn't say exposed, didn't it? There's an ornate hairpin with a spider lily motif on the floor. Well, I think we all know where that goes. There's a rice paper divider here, but the hair is keeping me from moving it. I'll need to cut the hair to move the divider. The door's jammed, probably by hair. This is most likely the bathroom anyway. And Okiku doll. Those things creep me out. Even though I collect hollow resin figu figures, and old, old dolls are just terrifying. There's also some joysticks here. The door's covered in an intricate pattern of hair strands. I have a feeling that this is a trap. I can probably cut the strands in a certain order to safely disarm the trap. We don't have any cutting instruments yet, so... Let's go and open the box in storage and hope nothing jumps out on the way. Okay, we're starting to get tense now. Wait, did that... was that... I have to cut that, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go and cut it. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> nearly started a coughing fit there. I apologise. To yes, yeah, storage. Elevator is stuck. Yep. So we've still got to climb out the window in the cr uh, crow room. No. Huh. I'm kind of okay on this floor, I think. Yeah, storage. Because I'm pretty sure I've more or less cleared it. And I'm hoping nothing else is going to show. The cage is locked with a unique spider lily padlock. His hairpin. Okay, let's take a look. There's an ornate box with the same spider lily pattern on it and an antique comb. Open box, antique comb. 
Read note. There's a letter on top of the box's contents. Mariko, I pray you can forgive me and your father someday. I never wanted this to be our fate, but you know how important the Okuda name is. Your father will never see past that responsibility. Please accept this gift and never forget that I will never stop loving you as my only daughter. Mother. Look inside. There's a fancy pair of scissors carefully placed in silk. They look like hairstylist shears. Well, there's plenty we can cut with those. And that's the storeroom played out, really, isn't it? I think. And now that I've got the scissors, it's probably going to be something horrendous jumping at me. It's making me maybe a little bit nervous to run. Maybe I should, uh, Maybe I should quick save it. <laughs> Use scissors. There we go. Finally, a simple way up the next floor. Of course, the door doesn't feel locked, more like the bar is stuck. Maybe I can find a way to destroy the whole lock. I'm positive this is the way up. There's got to be something around here that can break through the lock. Uh, it can cut the hair from far away. Okay, don't have that. Right. I'll need to cut the hair to move the divider. Okay, now to take the next risk. Move the divider. An ornate kimono trunk. It looks like the kimono that Mariko wore in the pictures. It must have been very important to her. Can I do anything else with the trunk? An ornate kimono trunk. Okay, I can't open it or do anything with it. Uh, okay, let's... Uses. Okay, let's give this a shot. I need to be careful though. Want wrong, want wrong cut. How am I supposed to be aware of this? Start at the bottom, I guess. Ouch. Am I? Was there, is there actually a telltale way to see? Uh, is there a way to know? Or is this going to be trial and error? Can I take a photo of it? Oh, left. Nope. Try it on. I hope it's not randomised every time I load. Uh, bottom right. No. Nope. Someone's gonna chip in and be like, uh, actually, you can uh, see the solution on the wall. And... Oh! There's one thing I hate in horror films. It's that noise. Ah, uh, something cut my leg. She's toying with me. I don't like kimono trunk. Looks like the kimono that Mariko wore in the pictures. It must have been very important to her. She... Here? Here's something kind of... Uh, I hope we don't get to hear too much of that noise. But otherwise, is there a way to actually see the solution to this? Or find the solution? Or is it just going to be trial and error? Which I suspect is. 
Yeah, it's, it's gonna be, isn't it? I don't know, what was that? Doesn't look like any particular clue. Oh, well. Uh, what did I, did I do bottom right? Let's do bottom left. Okay. And left, top left. Okay, so top left. And then... So, would the top left be the one that I've just cut there, so the next one would be in the middle? Is this picture a, a relevant clue? It's top left... Uh, bottom right... No... Okay, so that's one... Top left. So, yeah, no, I went bottom right, didn't I? So, oh, let's just go down the list. Top right. No. We will brute force this puzzle. I'm not, I really don't think this is how you're supposed to do it. Wait, yeah, top left. Uh, right. Okay, top left. Right. Bottom right? No. Top left. Bottom right. Whoops. Uh. <laughs> it was just right, wasn't it? Top left. Right. Whoops. Um. Bottom left. And. Left. No. I know that picture is relevant, but I. I too done to interpret it. Use gizzles. Top left. Right. Bottom left. Top right. Oh. Gaudi. This room better have something useful. Uh, we're just going to quick save it because I don't want to do that again. A geisha doll wearing a kimono matching Marikos. Another Betamax player on TV. With a Betamax tape, I can record my progress. Oh, I. I just. Just quick saved it, didn't I? Oh, yeah, sure, go on. Use the bottom one again. Mm. Not guy anymore. Oh, well, it must be a, a bangle. A Japanese funerary shrine. Dad had a huge one in his office for his war buddies. I should make an offering when I find out what Mariko needs. There's a drop ceiling. Something's hanging out of it. It's a storage box full of random stuff. Most of it looks like business documents and files. There's also a part of a photo of an older Japanese man. There's also a letter from Takamine Law Associates regarding a divorce. Oh. A kunai? Why does she have something like this, much less in a box hidden in the closet? Take. I know it's taboo to take things from a building like this, but even then the blade's dull and life like this is pretty useful. I should make an offering when I find out what she needs. Okay. The doll's hair has grown. Something looks to be caught in the hair. Maybe I can cut it free. Scissors? It's a small key wrapped in a piece of photograph. Looks like the kimono. Okay. No one ate kimono trunk. My god, I have to sit. I have to hear that again. Oh, 
Why so many eyes? Ah, uh, something cut my leg. She's toying with me. Who's smoking on filing cabinet? Let's see. There's a photo of a Japanese couple at their wedding. The back says, Mafuyu and Mariko Takamine. There's something else here too. A Betamax tape with a note attached. This should help you counter the demands on that bastard and his family. I wonder what's on the tape. Use kunai. Okay, let's do this. Net dive in May time. Got it. Okay, let's take a look. This noodle strainer is perfect for pulling that thing out of the sink in Dr. Lai's apartment. Ooh. Let's go and see what's on the tape. Maybe this tape will give me some answers. That looks like the man in the wedding photo, but the woman's definitely not Mariko. Can we put a photo in there? Family was split apart over something so ridiculous. She lost everything, and for it all to end like this. I hope this helps in some way. <laughs> Just leaving. <laughs> leaving helps. Yeah. An ornate kimono trunk. It's very well made. I wonder if Mariko intended to put any of the kimonos away before. I'll need to unlock it. I'll need to unlock it first, though. The lock looks similar to the one from the storage room. I doubt a normal key opens this. Use come. It's empty. Based on what I saw, Mariko just wants what's precious to her, but carefully put away. Place shears. Maybe I should put it inside the trunk with her other cherished belongings. It might calm her spirit. Kimono. Something fell from the sleeve. A piece of a photo. It's an old Asian woman. She looks very regal. She was obviously important to Mariko. Place kimono. Place hairpin. And lock. There. It's not much, but I hope it lets you rest. <laughs> Okie dokie. I hope her hair recedes once she's gone. I have a feeling it won't. The family was split apart over something so ridiculous. I hope this helps in some way. Place photo parts. Now to make the offering. Make the offering. Mariko, I'm so sorry. Please rest now. I think there's still one more thing I can do for her. Really? What would that be? Hmm. Nothing more I can interact with in here. It may be a good idea to hang on to this, just in case. Wait, hang, hang on to what? Oh, the kunai. Alright. Enter hall. Alright, yeah, doctor's room. Let's go and strain the stuff. There's got to be something around here that can break through the lock. To the doctor's apartment. Though I'm not really sure I'm gonna like it. Right, let's strain this crap. Use gloves and a strainer. Okay, now let's see what's floating in the black muck. What's this? It looks like a wax press. Oh, it wasn't that far off. The drawer has a strange indentation with an emblem on it. I don't recognise the symbol, but it looks like a kanji I'm unfamiliar with. Check. The odd indentation looks almost like a button, but I can't push it with my finger. I probably need some kind of unique key that matches the kanji. Like the seal? Who makes these ridiculous locks? Okay. 
There's a file open that looks like some kind of dossier on several men. All four of them have back tattoos of dragons. There's also a fancy medical textbook with something written on the spine. Does that go in the shelf? There's a book missing. Please. There's several places it could go, and the mark on the spine seems to belong somewhere. Uh. Sure. Oh, I think this is right. Three one six five seven two four. All right. What are the important numbers out of that? Seven one five two. I can't even. Alright. Then let's try it. 7152. I don't think that. Nope. That wasn't the right code. Um. 7152. Oh, is that the order of importance? 7152. Seven one five two is the letters we need. That it's telling us because they're highlighted, but they're not in that order. So do one five seven two. Let's try it. No, don't go out. Go back in. Um, what's it? One five seven two. Nice. Perfect. Bingo! What the hell? Oh god, it stinks! What are those frames hanging from the ceiling? It looks like skin... <laughs> Just in case! A light switch? Yeah. It looks like human skin framed in some kind of resin or plexiglass. The tattoo is of a black dragon. It's very similar to the others in this room. The tattoo depicts a dragon entangling a tiger. They don't appear to be fighting. What? Did I just see like a, a ghost of a guy there? I can't inspect that one. Uh, the jade bangle. Right, where is the door out? Okay. I'm really suspicious of this. Look at all the... There's a handprint on the wall. The table is covered in dried blood and this feels like the best place to do the exorcism. This room is clearly the spirit's connecting point. I just need to burn something of Dr. Lies in effigy. No. Uh, no. No, I'll have to come back. Maybe I can stall him somewhere outside the apartment. Um Like where? It won't be the safe room on the first floor or the second floor. Uh, let's just run and press E on things. Okay, no, I'll have to come back. Maybe I can stall him outside. They oh, Jesus Christ. No, let me... Stay away! He's blocking the door. Oh, yep, he follows. Ooh. Mm. 
Oh, we're supposed to be pressing E on things. E on the elevator. Looked like the coast is clear thanks to the warding foo. Right, let's go back and burn stuff. I don't want to run in the room. I nearly ran into the room next to the elevator, or I tried to. But I also don't really want to be cornered by him. And certainly not lose my other bangle. Right, uh, the creepy room. Go, go, go. No, not back in there. Come on. I need to hurry before he comes back. Burn. Enough. Enough. Long live the king. I... I did it. I doubt tonight will get any easier from here on out. I shouldn't celebrate yet. Foreshadowing. Another jade bangle. So that's one they left this one in here, I guess. Oh, Doctor Light's drill. I can use this to open the stairwell door on the far end of the hall. Oh, nice. Thanking you. Didn't that bit of skin have a tattoo on it? Hmm. I'm sure it did. Oh, it went off again. Yeah. Huh. Is there anything... Uh, that thing's not going to jump scare me, is it? I'm not even going in the bathroom to see. Okay. Doesn't look like I need anything in here anymore. Um. Right, yeah. So unblock the stairwell. Or the elevator, or whatever. Use drill. Got it. Now let's see what's up there. What? Oh, right, it's me. Ooh, not a fan of the music. Well, that's a cat. Still no luck. Oh, cat. Oh. It's gonna be like, oh, cats all. Cats don't like spirits. They always hiss at them, right? We're safe if there's a cat around. No, yeah, no, I take that back. Let's investigate the cats. Hello. Kitties. There are feral cats seemingly guarding the door. I should be careful not to upset them. Well, I just saved it. Let's get killed by cats. Oh. Did they remove my eyes and tongue there? Like the guy in the other room. All right, kiddies. Um, just a bathroom. There are a few business cards for local plastic surgeons and a bunch of notes with dates and times written on them. Only one note stands out. It's a list of different herbs and roots with numbers next to them. Well, let's take a look at that. It's not a horror game without a herb puzzle. Uh, okay. Five, two, nine, one, three, six, four, seven, eight. Yeah, no doubt that'll come in handy later. A large medicine cabinet, only a few of the drawers are labelled. The cupboard is locked with some kind of mechanism. 
Let's check the drawers. Odd. The drawers are actually buttons. Maybe there's a sequence that will unlock the cabinet. It's gonna correspond to those weights, isn't it? Um. Still at the top. Ginseng. Nothing happened. Oh. Wait, what? Got it. Oh. Nice. I don't know if anybody... Well, I imagine you did, but if you saw there... Every time I click something, the text would move slightly, and it's just a matter of clicking the one that either did or didn't move, the odd one out, essentially. There's a key and a jade bracelet, which I imagine... will it give me the jade bracelet? There's a steel kettle on the table along with a very nice tea set. Steel kettle on the table. Wow. Hello, boobs. A dream board. It's covered in images of erotic models. Most of them seem to have had cos uh, cosmetic surgery. There are various handwritten notes like this shape and this size. There are also a few bottles of painkillers. This woman must have gotten some work done. Amazing that it's gotten so much easier and common these days. Even Mariko wants to make a few adjustments. The only thing stopping her from being able to borrow my tops is her fear of the doctor. I don't like it in here. Something made a noise. The mannequin moved. It moved. Uh... The bookshelf is filled with fashion magazines, erotica and books on herbal medicine. There are also some highly collectible Ami dolls. These are probably worth a lot of money now. Maiko used to love these things. Too bad the company recently went out of business after moving away from the objectified look that Ami had for over a hundred years. It turns out little girls who want to play with Ami dolls don't want to play with frumpy and realistic versions of Ami. I was always more into the old man's robots and computers, but still have fond memories of playing dolls with Maiko. Into what? Oh, a patio. The massive hollow board that I saw from the third floor. Thanks to this chair and how close the board is, I can cross to apartment 501. No. Oh my god, its head's gone. Uh. Save. <laughs> This will be a bedroom. A makeup table. It's covered in different types of blush, lipsticks and eyeshadows. There's even an eyeliner and pencil. Even after all this time, I bet that pencil still writes. There's also a seam ripper. Yeah, make sealing foo. Yeah, I can use this foo to seal a spirit within a vessel. I don't like the fact that I can make that. Because that means I'm going to need to use it. Take Seam Ripper. This could come in handy.
A heart-shaped bed covered in pillows and fine silk sheets. There's a journal poking out from under the pillow. All of entries detail expensive dinners, romantic nights with clients, and her thoughts on some of her neighbours. There are numbers written at the bottom of each page. 783... Uh, yeah. Well, wait. 78638. Photos of what I assume is a tenant of this apartment, as they all appear to be taken in this room. Her body and face looks to have changed quite a bit throughout the few years marked on the photos. The wardrobe is full of long dead, high-end brands. Bellucci, Simona, Makoto, and even Charisse. These brands were expensive as hell when they were around. Even today, if you find them in thrift shops, they still cost thousands of V-creds. It's locked. Maybe I can find a key somewhere. Do not want. Don't really want to continue either. But so far this episode would only be about 40 minutes. Um, let's go. All of these clothes were at one point very expensive for high fashion brands, even on this Shipao is a beautifully handmade dress. Similar to the one the old man got me for my 20th birthday, this girl had very fine taste. I'm going to avert my gaze to the little screen on OBS, because things are less scary when they're on small screens. Uh... It's some kind of semi-creepy shrine to a human-sized doll. Of course it is. I don't like it. I also don't like... It sounded like somebody locked the door. Oh, come on. It's that... Where did the doll go? Where did the dolls 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 go? There's a nail on the wall. A photo is missing from this spot. I don't really want to exit either, because what if the, uh, what if it's out there? The head already came off the the other one. <laughs> Shit, the lights are out here too. <laughs> it's gone. All of them have gone. They've moved. Jesus. I don't want to unpause it now. <sighs> Can I eat them? Or do I just have to run past? Are they going to follow me? <sighs> e. E. Attack. Space. 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 Oh. Both of them? Space. Space. Yeah, you come back. Space. What? What? No. Let me out. Help. Ah, uh, cute. 
feet. Help. <laughs> Help me. Oh, I can hear them coming. Enough off. I would like to leave. Please. Q. Q. No, that's just like an selection. <laughs> e. 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 Okay. I think those, I think the dolls all did have different haircuts as well, so maybe there's just four of them. Uh, a nail on the wall, photo is missing. No, yeah, photo missing. Oh, come on. Let's just interact with this to kind of clear it out. Oh shit, the lights are out here too. Yes, they are. Attack. Ah. That try crawling towards me. Nope. Attack again. Not close enough. Attack. Attack. Space. Space. She doesn't seem to be... Space. Space. Yeah, she kind of slides. Space. Space. No. Oh no. Space. Okay. Item added. Strange doll. A human sized doll is surprisingly light. Why would I want to carry that around with me? The dolls are gone? There's something else here that I didn't notice before. A photo of a young woman. She's very cute, if a bit plain. Is this Sally before the surgeries? There's a steel kettle on the table with it, along with a very nice tea set. Let me put a doll back on the chair. Spirit must be inhabiting that doll. I'll need to be careful and seal her inside of it in order to complete the exorcism. Seal doll with poo. Please don't move again. I just need to finish the exorcism now by making an offering, but I need a photo of Sally. There's a nail on the wall. A photo is missing from this spot. Place it. I think this goes here. I wonder why the photo is moved. Make offering. Be at peace now. Feels like something is missing here. There's something that's missing. Like what?
quick save because I just I don't want to deal with them again. What else would be missing? Clothes? You, you're missing. Oh, the headless body's back. Oh, is it? oh, I don't know. Do you want some tea? Or we'll, cl we'll try and go to the opposite apartment. Because I can, so there must be a reason for me to be able to. Um, massive follow board, yep. There we go, now to climb up. Interact. Water is draining off the nearby building. Huh. So where is this 501 I'm at? On your map. Oh yeah, so I went from 506 over to 501. I take it then I couldn't get out or get in at 501, like through the natural means. There's a base max tape with the Seattle police logo on the label. A piece of paper looks stuck inside the tape. If I find a place to play it, maybe I can get them out. Where was that person's... Oh, was she on the floor below? The hair. She wasn't. She was on the floor below, the hair person. There's a journal on the floor. It's written in Cantonese, but I should be able to understand most of it. Every entry drips with fear and low confidence. It's pretty sad. I can't imagine how he lived like this, though I know what it's like to feel like you don't belong. There's also a rich piece of paper with writing on the back. I should hang on to this. I was able to convince Miss Amamiya to open her store late at night for me. I hate being a burden to her, but going out in the day time in the daytime causes too much trouble. I don't want to scare anyone anymore. Doctor Fu invited me to Suki's birthday party. I was so happy that they thought of me, but I couldn't possibly go to an event like that. Not everyone can understand. A new tenant has moved in. Her name is Sally. She's so beautiful. I've never seen someone like her before, and she was even kind to a thing like me. Those teenagers went too far tonight, but I hope that they don't get in too much trouble. It's not that their behaviour isn't their fault, but they are young. My eye will heal, but a criminal record could destroy their lives. Besides, it's not like I don't look like a monster. Sally came to my apartment again tonight. I was so nervous I couldn't even open the door. I just hid behind the door so she would think I wasn't home. I don't think she believed it though. Why would she want anything to do with me? Sally had another surgery, her ninth one since we met. I helped her come home and made her soup. She said she loved it and my heart actually hurt. I love her and even though I know she will never love me the same way, I'm happy taking care of her, though I don't know why she gets these operations. She has always been beautiful. The doctor sent me a letter today. I want to tell Sally, but what could I say? Mr. Yip has agreed to help take care of things. Despite his past, he is a good man. He even helped me pick out a good gift for Sally's birthday. But it's so special. I might wait for a different occasion. Tomorrow is tw Sally's 22nd birthday. I think I will wait to give her the present. What if she rejects me? What if she never speaks to me again? I could never handle that, especially now. I heard about Faithy in Brian's engagement. It makes me happy and hopeful to see that they can find love. Maybe this will bring Faithy some happiness finally. I just hope that Fu is able to help clear away the darkness following Brian. He seems very worried about that. Ah, Sally's journal, from Sally's point of view. This is... 20th of the 7th. Oh, so this is a couple of years after. I don't know. Alright, okay. Finally all settled in my own apartment. I can't wait to start the next transformation of my life. My parents would never approve of what I want. But I'm an American girl with big dreams, not some Kowloon housewife. I love them, but I have to be true to myself first. 
some little brats came after that tall guy last night. Why would anyone do that? For sure he's shy and lacks confidence, but he is one of the kindest men I've ever met. My first client, I was so nervous, but Madame set me up for success. He was handsome and a total gentleman. His car wasn't bad either. He even gave me a bonus for how friendly I was to his business partners. Eye candy isn't the only thing people like the Kim pay for. If I keep up with this job and continue to impress, I'll be able to start my journey in no time. Mariko gave me a fee styling, a free styling and dye job. I feel so bad about what happened to her and the reaction from people in the area is disgusting. What the hell do they know? Plus, if they don't want her... If they don't want their dirty laundry getting out, why would you even tell your hairstylist? Not everyone keeps secrets well. Who doesn't like a little gossip? My birthday is next week, and I know exactly what I'm getting myself. All of my clients have been so gracious, and I've never had to do anything I didn't want to do. Sometimes I want to go a little extra mile for the nicer and hunkier guys. After the operation next week, I can bag even more wealthy clients. Tonight, though, drinks with the girls and some new lingerie for after I'm all healed up. OMG, my new babies look great, but I'm still not totally sure it's enough. I have so many thoughts. Shall I have gone bigger? What about my nose? There's so much I want to do. Guess I'll see what the client thinks tonight. He's about to get a real treat. Stu Stupid Jong. You're a good man. The kind I want for real. I just wish you weren't so afraid of me. I know I bring it on myself, but I love that he treats me like a prize to be won, not an object to show off. Third procedure tomorrow. The struggle to be perfect is one only a woman can understand. I'll have to eat through a straw for a few weeks, but that means trimming off some of that tummy fluff will be a bit easier. What is that bitch's problem? All I try to do is help her. <laughs> I know what it's like to be an outsider, and I want um, to want to change everything about yourself. People call me a freak all the time for what I do to my body. I just want to help her achieve her goal. I get why she looks down on me, but I thought... That being nice to her would make it easier for her to open up. Ugh, who cares? In a month, I'll be upgrading again, and even closer to my goal. I have to get ready for tonight's client anyway. Yeah, I know I went through several voices or accents or whatever kind of mess that was. But that was fun. Now back to the horror. The bed is huge, but very simple. I don't see anything of interest, though. Oh. Uh. Mm. Is he actually going to be lurking in there? Why is everybody dead? Is this just like a storyline of all of the horrors that happened in this building? Or how did they all happen simultaneously? Or is this like what happened over over the course of a hundred years up until modern day. Oh wait, no. Is he in here? A birdcage with an ornate lock. There's a large crank handle inside. It's just a bathroom, there's nothing in here I could need. Bird cage. It looks like a class photo. One of the children is incredibly tall for his age. There's a sewing machine on the desk, but not much else. There's a huge jacket on the coat rack. Something is bulging from a pocket that's been stitched shut. Yeah, why not? There's a letter and a key with a feather keychain. The letter is from the hospital and references some kind of illness that this tenant must have had. I'll read it later from my PDA. <laughs> Mr. Huang, I regret to inform you that the test results have come in. They show that your genetic mutation causing accelerated growth has put severe strain on your heart, causing a tear in the atrium wall. Unfortunately, due to the circumstances of your condition, open heart surgery is too risky at this advanced stage. I'm very sorry that we could not confirm these factors earlier. The damage done is already far too great. The heavy heart. No pun intended, I guess, lol. I recommend that you should instead live, live off... You should instead live off of the great wealth you inherited and be comfortable for the remaining years of your life. If you could avoid any kind of intense physical strain or illnesses and watch your diet, you should have between... 
three to five years of a normal life. Dr. Chase Friedman, MD, cardiac surgeon, Seattle Hope Hospital. That's pretty crap. Another teacup. I can fill this with rice to make an offering cup. The radio is a bit annoying. I'd better turn it off. And now it's just really eerie. There's a laundry pole outside the window. Do I want to open it? There's something clipped to the line. If I can find the pulley handle, I can get whatever it is. Something clipped to the line. Find the handle. There's another piece of letter here. Now we're getting interested. It's a piece of letter, didn't it? What? The key. Oh, letter parts. Enter hallway. Actually, these look like more pieces of the letter. It's just just a fan. I know you're in this room. I can tell you don't want to hurt me. I just want to see you, so now that I'm helping. Oh. No, turn it off. So he's not gonna hurt me this one? Oh, use for the key. What is this crank doing in here? I guess I should take it. All that's left is shredded paper. These pieces of paper match the others I found. Maybe I should try to piece together the note? Uh, letter parts. Where would I piece that together? There's something clipped to the line. Oh, wait, what What did I attach? The crank, I guess. Then how to reel it in. Just an envelope with more pieces of ripped paper inside. Maybe it's part of a letter? Yeah, no kidding. Nothing else in here, right? Near in the bedroom? I don't really want to enter the hallway. But I pressed E pretty quick. I... It's locked. So I don't... Until I can find out where the elevator is blocked, I won't be able to use it. It's locked. toy that resembles a mouse. It's probably filled with catnip. That collapse must have come from higher up. Is Suki really what caused it? Don't, I don't really want to go in there. The door has been removed. Yeah. Just the bathroom. I don't like this room. I don't really want to go and touch stuff in it. The mail is piled up, but I don't think it's just because of the building being abandoned. Wait a minute. <gasps> Brian Mack? There's no way. He can't be. Is this what Fusifu meant? Wait, what? I'd rather not open the fridge, but I can see some kind of tin stored up on top of it. Another bag of rice.
I can play the evidence tape from Zhang's apartment here. I can also save my progress with the creating life tape. I don't want to save. How many tapes have I got? Up two. Mm, I'll just quick save it. Uh, we'll look in the rest of the room first. The calendar has a few dates marked. August 23rd is marked engagement party, while the 24th is simply crossed out. <laughs> oh, I'm so jumpy. What was that? Oh, is that the tin on the top? Uh, let's watch the evidence first. Play evidence. It's a very tall man getting harassed by some teenagers. Oh, is this gonna be like what set him off and killed him? Because it was stressful. This must be Jong. I see why they called him Lamppost. He must be over 230 centimeters. It looks like Fu Sifu came and helped Jong. The pieces of paper came out. Always know you're in trouble when there's a cutscene. A silk baseball jacket with a black dragon embroidered on the back. Triads and yakas are still wear these like uniforms. The style has changed dramatically. There's a small jade dragon on the nightstand. This reminds me of something. There's also a Betamax tape. These floorboards are clearly cut out. With the right tool, I can pick them up. It's a picture of a young man and with his girlfriend. I've seen other photos of the woman throughout this building. Who is she? Can't carry anymore. Floorboards, clearly cut out with the right tool. I'm gonna open the fridge. Okay, so next plan of action is to go and distract the cats, I guess. Yeah, looks like it. I'll just save it again, because why not? a little bit worried about jump scares but we'll we'll see how it goes thought fan was going to attack me because why wouldn't it i'm sorry what there's a small box with a combination lock on the floor there's also a pry tool there's a small box, the combination lock on the floor. Uh... Yep. So he was trying to help. Seven eight six three eight. Seven eight six three. Not it. Guess not. Hmm. Okay. We will head back then.
I kind of get the feeling like I'm nearing the end of the game, but I have no idea how long it actually is. These floorboards are clearly cut out with the right tool. Use pry tool. The compartment is full of documents. There is a map labelled gambling room with names around tables, as well as a note. There's also a beautiful jade brooch. This map looks like an elaborate plan for something. Everything you need is in the freezing cookie tin. You'll make our clan proud, Brian. Shang. Something isn't right here. Uh... The gambling den. Ah. Oh. Xiong's will to whoever finds this letter. This is my last will and testament, though I have few belongings. I have worked hard in order to save the money necessary to give children who went through what I did a better chance. Please sell everything you can and donate the money to the International District Home for Children. Make sure to speak directly with Miss Hu Rong, as she has already been informed of this plan. There is a lockbox under my bed. The money inside should be donated to the IDHC as well. The remaining gift should be given to Sally. Even if it is late, this is her birthday gift. You want to tell me what the combination is there? I'm kind of surprised it's not that. Uh, ah, is it? It's got something to do with this, hasn't it? Maybe. I should pull up one of those chairs to stand on. This must be the cookie tin that the note referred to. Use the brooch. Another gun? Hopefully the police don't show up while I'm carrying this. What on earth is that for? Gun. MK211 submachine gun. It's slightly rusted but looks like it's in working order. What on earth? Um, there's nothing else in here, is there? Apart from the jade bangle, I can't carry more of. Hmm. Uh, how many tapes have we got? Four. I might save it there and call it a night. Uh, Alright guys, thank you for watching again. Uh, please leave a like if you like the video. If you don't, don't. Uh, subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Take care of yourself guys. Good night.